Hey guys, uh, Bert's taking a nap and I thought I would just slip out here and talk to you guys about something. Something I found out that was, I found this out in a way about a year ago, but um, <laughs> I don't think it registered right with me at that time. I was, maybe it was more than a year ago and you know, my the daughter I lost last, we lost her in 2017, and so it was a rigmarole. But anyway, enough of that. <clears throat> I went into the bank this morning to open a savings account, and this is what brought this all back to my memory. I'm in sun here, so if my eyes are squinty, you'll know why. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath. Anyway. I went in to start a savings account at the uh, the bank, and I did that because we don't really have a bank account, so if I get a check in the mail or something, I can't cash it unless I go to Walmart and they charge you to cash it. And sometimes I do surveys for people, and uh, they'll send me a check, and then I have to take it to Walmart, and maybe the check's five bucks, and I got to pay three dollars to cash it. So that don't help me. That's one of the reasons. But anyway, so I went in the bank today. I had my IDs, my mask, you know, all ready to open a savings account, hoping that maybe we can save up for a down payment on a better kind of an RV or trailer or whatever we want to do. And, um, so I did all the paperwork and everything, and the lady kept punching in things and punching in things, and I kept thinking, oh, my God, you know, how long is this going to take? Because Bert was waiting outside. So anyway, <laughs> to make a long story short, I couldn't get a savings account because our credit, my credit, I don't know about Bert's, my credit limit is not over 650 so, what that has to do with a savings account beats the shit out of me, okay? If it is for a checking account, I could probably hear that, you know, but not for a savings account. But to make a long story short, they checked my credit so I could get a savings account. And... Then the lady had me sign this little paper. She said, I can't let you open a savings account because we uh, require your credit limit to be over 650 and it's not. And so, and I, I was so flabbergasted by that, that I just, okay, whatever, you know, and I signed the paper. So she gave me a copy and I walked outside. Hold on a second. Sorry. Okay. So when I got in the car, I read the paper, and the paper said the same thing she was telling me, that their policy is that <laughs> you can't open a savings account if your credit limit is, or if your credit score is not over 650. And then as I looked down, and it showed my credit score on one side, and then it showed a check score. And I'm thinking, what the hell is a check score? So supposedly, this company rates you and if you ever in your life had a check bounce or a check come back or something like that, you get a low rating on that too. Now, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm sure I've had one or two when the kids were little come back. I'm not crazy. You know, I know that. But uh, it really brought back to me what was going on with I was I kept trying to figure out the last couple of years why is my house insurance so high and then I thought after this happened this morning I said hmm I figured something out uh when we moved here we moved here because my daughter my other daughter the second daughter passed away and she had three kids and I was going to try to help her 
uh, the the kid's father help him, you know, help him with the kids. So we looked for a house here, and we bought this one. And you know, of course, now the kids are older and they're doing better. And but anyway, long story. When I moved here, we moved from Ocala, Florida, and now we're in Georgia. Well, I couldn't figure out why my car insurance was so much cheaper here than in Florida. So I thought, okay, well, maybe it's, I, I asked the lady, because I was, when I get curious about stuff, I start asking people, you know. So I asked the lady, why is my car insurance cheaper here than it is out there on the same car and with the same rating, you know, because obviously I didn't have no accidents or not, neither did Bart. And she said, well, you lived in a mobile home in Florida, and you live in a sticks and bricks now. I said, what? What does that have to do with it? She said, well, honestly, she said, if you live in a mobile home, your car insurance is higher, and your homeowner's insurance is higher, even if you don't have the same company, okay, if you live in a mobile home. I'm like, why? She said, I don't know. That's just the way they do it. So, this is the, what I've been finding out. Now, some of you may know this already. I don't know. But I thought it was pretty crappy, so <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I'm making a video. Okay. Number one, no matter what, if, you're, if you go to get car insurance, home, homeowner's insurance, go to a bank to open an account, whatever, they are going to run your credit. If your credit is under their what they consider their limit, I guess, I don't know, uh, they will not open an account, and your car insurance, what you pay, what you pay down, and what you pay for your car insurance is depends on what you live in. So if you live in a sticks and bricks house, even if it's run down, and you live in a and somebody else lives in a motor home, a mobile home, double wide, whatever, they're going to pay more for their car insurance on the same car with the same coverage than if you live in a sticks and bricks house. Is that fair? I don't think so, even though I no longer live in a mobile home, okay? Um, is it fair that you can't have a savings account if you're... Uh, credit scores not above 650 uh why i mean it ain't like at my age i'm gonna be in there robbing the bank you know what i'm saying i mean i just don't get it so i'm i'm kind of asking you guys do you think this is fair do you don't you think like there should be some legislation or something that i mean your i always thought your car insurance went by your driving record whether you had DUIs or not, or whatever, how many accidents you had, what kind of car you drive, how safe is that car on the road, what special safety features do you have in that car, but I guess it ain't. It goes by your credit score as well as all that, and as well as what you live in. How about them apples? Never heard of that before until I had moved here, and I, I don't know. I get feelings about things, and I get feelings about asking questions. I always ask questions, and I'm telling you guys, ask questions, because you ain't going to get the answers if you don't. One second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm watching the dogs over there. Uh, anywho, uh, well, what else was I going to talk about? Anyway. That, that's my rant for today, guys. But I wanted to let you know that I have made a bunch of new jewelry. It's on Etsy.com at Spare Time Gems. And I've had that little store for a long time. And I changed up a lot of stuff and put some new things on. I'm still working on some jewelry. We're still trying to figure out what kind of trailer or Class C or Class A we want. Something around 30 feet. Um, and of course we have to be able to afford it. We have to be able to have the credit for it. And when my daughter, that's another thing I wanted to say, when, you know, 
when they checked in my credit score this morning, I haven't been asking for credit from nobody, so I mean, I really didn't think nothing about it, but when my daughter passed away three years ago, we fell behind on some things because, of course, there was no life insurance, okay? And she had three kids, and so everything we had, we had already spent on my other pass daughter passing away, and at the same in the same year, my mom passed away, and then Stephanie, my other daughter, passed away in 2017. So yeah, we did fall behind on stuff, which is why my credit score is probably not peachy keen. But um, they, you know. I can see why people put their savings in a in a safe or whatever. I really can. I mean, you go through so much and I don't know, but that's life. But anyway, I love all you guys. I want to get out and make some more videos for you. But I wanted to let you know that that's what these companies are doing now because not everybody has an 800 credit rating. That's number one. And I don't think they should be allowed to deny you a savings account. That's just my feeling. I mean, I don't know. I, it doesn't even register with me why they would do that, okay? But um, I wanted to get your feedback on that and how you feel about that. And what have you ever ran into that or did you not know about that? You know, because I'm really curious how many people have run into that um but please visit my etsy store we have a lot of stuff on there we really do and more is getting on there every day and please give me a thumbs up subscribe uh hit the little bell if you haven't already so you'll get all my videos and pray for us that we'll get the rv that we really want and need and and that it'll come to us very easily and I pray for all you guys. I pray for everybody with this virus going around. It's just, it's something else, guys, you know. I mean, even walking in the bank this morning, they took my temperature, you know. And I don't blame them for that at all. But anyway, sweeties, I'm going to let you go. Y'all be safe on the road. Too many fires are out there in the West, and it really bothers me. I'm trying to watch as many videos as I can. And somebody had a uh, rollover accident, I think it was yesterday. I don't know where it was, but it was with a trailer and a pull-along, I believe. So I've been wondering who that is. So uh, I hope, I guess everybody's okay. That's it. I think they said the driver was okay. But um, I look out for all you guys. And I'm still trying to work with my CPAP. And I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's it's working pretty good at night. Love you guys. God bless you. Take care.